Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Real quick while I got you here, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, and also make sure to turn the notifications on, uh, especially all you Ram 1500 guys out there. A lot of the mods I do to my truck are real simple. Most of them are done right here in this yard. It's really what this channel is based upon, is doing little quick, simple mods. So, so anyway, let's go over a quick few things before we get started in today's video. When I'm talking simple mods, I mean, it's like... When it comes down to putting a license plate on your truck or a Hemi badge, which that badge is going to have to be replaced real soon. The lug nuts, the wheels, the vinyls, the uh, Hemi badge on the glove box over there. And I want to show you a couple more quick, simple, easy mods. I don't know if you saw the way the mirrors folded out, but that is due to the Z Automotive Taser that I have in my truck. I don't quite have a video on the Z Automotive Taser yet, but I will be putting one up on the channel real soon. Here, this one's one of my favorites. Everybody seems to get a kick out of it. So, I have the sliding rear window on my truck also. You can see the switch right there, and that's my rear window open, and that's my rear window closed. Now from the outside, you can't see any of those vinyl stickers until I open my sliding rear window. What I did was just put a piece of plexiglass on that back window and put vinyl stickers on it. Real simple to do, again, cost maybe 30 bucks to do, and you come out with something like that. The one we're going to be getting into today is this pesky old light right here. I've had a lot of people notice it in my videos because filming at nighttime, the center console is going to be lit up red at nighttime because I've changed the color of that light. I call it a map light. I think it's also called an accent light. It's real hard to figure out the name of that light, but there's not very many ways to change the color of that light right there. So today's video is going to be all about how you can change the color of that light. We got Matt's truck, my neighbor's truck. And uh, anyway, we're doing his truck because I've already done mine. I don't need to do it again. And all these trucks are basically identical on the inside, so I found out this truck's a 2500. These are the LEDs we'll be using. They're the uh, Sylvania, I guess 168Rs. I don't know. I just stumbled across them and found out they actually work. So what you got to do with these guys is you got to pop these little plastic lenses off, which is hard to do with a thumbnail, but I got teeth. Once you pop that lens off, what you're going to do is you can see the LED in there, and you'll just fold these two tabs back. Just like so. And then you can pull the LED out. I'm waiting on the camera to focus there, but that's what you're left with out of that LED. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Now I know some people are going to say, man, you're rigging the hell out of that, but that's the only way to do these things. They don't make an aftermarket light for them. If you want to change the color, you have to you have to come up with your own kind of uh, way. So the first thing we need to do is pop these two lenses out. You gotta pry on the sides of these lenses and they pop right out. Just like so. And I thought there were screws in there, but I'm not seeing them. Maybe this one doesn't have the screws. There it is. All right, so once you pop your rear, rear window slider down, if you have one, which most likely you will, if you have that map light, you're going to have to disconnect it. You can see that little tab right there. We're just going to use the uh, screwdriver, pop that guy out, get it out of the way for now. There it is. That worked out pretty well. Did you get that... Uh, rear window switch out you can see the LED up in there and I might be able to pop the LED out without actually having to take this whole center console off but I see a little release tab it's just on the back side yeah there it goes I'm trying to get my finger up in there I'll try to give you better shots of what all this stuff looks like once I get my hand out of there but the LED is kind of funny looking. It's not your traditional style. And that's why you can't just find them anywhere and replace them. All right, once you get that LED loose, the wiring harness is kind of short for it. But this is an actual LED. This is the bulb you're wanting out right here. All right, once you get that thing brought down, you got the same thing, same style clip that you had up inside. You're just going to pop that little clip out. I remember this with mine. Not only is the clip like holding it, but it also is like heat or glue or something that holds it together. So you got to kind of really pry on it. There it is. So now that we got this out, we're no longer going to be using this terminal. What we're going to do is actually take a drill bit through the back side right here and drill through it to get to this lens. And that way we keep the factory light distribution from this LED. We keep that same light distribution once we put the red bulb on there. And uh, we're going to be changing this one to red. Hopefully later on down the road, I might come up with an LED that we can put in here that you can actually have an RGB set up and put your own colors and stuff. But anyway... Let's go over to the vise and uh, drill this guy out and get it set up for our new bulb. Alright, so now we've got our factory LED lamp. 
and we've got our LED replacement bulb and you can kind of see that bulb's going to fit in there pretty decent. So what we're going to do is just throw this in the vise real quick. I'll throw it in this way that way you can see what's going on. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is so you can clip this back into the factory position and it holds that LED steady it doesn't fall out. Now the next task is you want to look at the lens on the bottom and try to center your drill bit up the best you can to the center of that lens. I'm starting with an eighth inch drill bit that way I can uh, Kind of like a pilot bit, that way it doesn't walk on me too much and I can kind of get a good idea of where I'm at. Get it lined up real well before I drill my final hole. Alright, you just want to take it nice and easy. And you want to keep checking on that bottom side. You'll be able to see on that lens once you're finally through. The good thing is, if you mess this up, you can go to the dealership and get another one of these halogen looking LEDs and start all over again for pretty cheap. I can tell I'm getting to the metal there because everything just changed color. And that'll be it. Alright, once you're finished with your pilot bit, you want to step it up to a size. It's going to clear the square on the LED. That way the plate behind it sticks to the actual, uh, the original one. That way when you glue it down, it's nice and flush in there. And it's not going to take much with that one to get where you're going. Make sure you have plenty of light, that way you can see what you're doing. Got a little bit more to go. And once you get down to the lens, just give it a nice little high speed drilling, that way it cleans it up, not a lot of pressure. Cleans it up to where you have nice white clear plastic. And once you're done, your finished product is just that lens, no more yellow in it. Let it focus, auto focus, there we go. So your finished product is just that lens with no more yellow in it. And that's what you're trying to keep because that lens is going to help distribute all that LED's light evenly. That's what it looks like from the back side. You can see straight through, you can see the wood down there. Now, all that's left is you're going to take this guy here with your new LED. You're going to fit it into that hole just like so, glue it. And you're pretty much ready to go from there. Alright, so I don't know if you saw that last part there, but what I did was I pushed the bit over a little bit, kind of used it as a Dremel, and took some of the edge of this guy out. You can kind of see in that plastic where I got kind of in there, just so the edge of that LED gets in there a little bit better. So yeah, we're done there. All we got to do is glue it together, and we'll be ready to install. Alright, so that's what it's going to look like when you're done. It literally takes longer for the glue to dry than it does to do any other part of this mod. So that's the LED in there with the glue dried up. Make sure to line it up with that lens the best you can. That's why I had to kind of notch it out right there. And this is all you need. You don't have to do anything as far as a connector or anything on these wires because they're about the same size once you double them over. They're roughly the same size if not tighter fitting than the original prongs in this. So the next step is installing it. And just like any other LED, the polarity is only one way on these things. So if you install it backwards, the worst thing that's going to happen is it's just not going to work. So you need to flip your, your two points around, your positive and negative. Once you get them flipped around, it'll start working. So that's what we're going to do next. And then we'll put it all back together and see the final product. Keep in mind, if you use super glue, you need to, make a, you need to use a super glue that does not haze glue. You need to actually test your super glue out make sure it dries clear just like this stuff right here. That way you don't get that white haze in your lens and you don't get that restriction of that haze. If you can see there, I've already prepped this one. Focus! So it might be kind of hard to see, it might be a little out of focus, but you can tell I've bent the ends over on those two wires coming out of that LED I put in there. And this is the finished product, you're just going to have them both sticking up. Next step you want to do is make sure your uh, interior lights are on, your, your driving lights and everything are on. You want to turn those on and you want to stick this guy into the plug and make sure it lights up. It's only going to light up one way. So it looks like we hit it first try. If you flip it over, it doesn't work. See that? If it doesn't work, then you got it backwards. So what you need to do is bend those ends, flip it, make it fit, shove her in there. Now she's nice and solid. She's not just going to fall out on you. Alright, we're going to go ahead and reinstall this sucker right where it came from. It's going to be kind of hard to see because my hand's going to be in the way, but once you push it up in there, you want to go ahead and push everything over, and you'll find it once it gets home. It'll just kind of fall right in there. It's a good idea to leave it energized all the time so you can shock yourself if, if, it's, uh, if you're capable. You can really make sure you get a good jolt in there and uh, 
Anyway, what you want to do is line it back up with the factory pegs. I'm kind of close. All right, so I am not going to lie to you guys. This thing is really hard to get back in. I forgot from doing my vehicle how hard it is. The main thing is it's a lot easier to get back in. If you remove this, if you remove this, be very, very mindful. These clips grab so ridiculously hard. Instead of them popping out of the actual keeper's form, they have to pull the teeth backwards in order for you to remove this. And if you're not careful, you're going to pull them right out and you're going to have a couple of holidays in your panel here. I struggled with this thing for probably about 10, 15 minutes before I finally pulled this guy off. Once I pulled it off, it was so simple. So you can see it there, our new red LED is in place you can see how it's all fitting up in there nice and neat one thing I should have covered which sorry I didn't before we got this far is your two wires coming up off your LED make sure to heat shrink those that way they don't touch an arc that's something I forgot to mention I did uh, put a piece of tape around these but you can put heat shrink on them but anyway that's the finished result it's in there now we can button all this stuff back up and uh, give her a look at nighttime see what she looks like Alright, so we got everything snapped together. All we got to do is put the lenses back on our uh, spot lamps here and uh, clean off my greasy fingerprints, my little grease monkey fingerprints there. But one thing to keep in mind is when you're putting these on, each side has a tab on it. You'll see that tab sticking out and you'll see the two retainers right there and right here where my finger is. Alright, so what you want to do is make sure that that tab goes under the white push button first. Then once you get that, clip it into place and make sure it works. Okay, and your driver and passenger side have the tabs on different sides. So you could tell that that one, the tab was on the far side. This one, it's on the near side. We're going to go ahead, slide that puppy up in there just like so. And there it is. That completes our install of our LED map light. Now all we got to do is wait for nighttime and uh, see how she looks. All right, everybody, so that's it for today's upload. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and definitely make sure to get them notifications on. I hope you enjoyed it. Nice, simple, easy little mod. It really isn't that hard at all. The hardest part is waiting for the glue to dry, installing the new LED, and you're done. And you can pick any color you want. Make sure you go with those Sylvanias, and you're golden. That's all I got for today, guys. Rep361 Texas, we're out.